Hi, welcome. Um, Julesy from Julesy Designs JT Creations. Now, as I said in my previous videos, I was going to do a travel journal. I am going out to um, Cyprus for about nine weeks. Um, hopefully, COVID allowing the, the you know the government's changing everything, so now we have to get a PCR test before we go. Um, me and my husband have both been fully vaccinated. Um, and then we have to have a PCR test when we get to the airport there and then five days of lateral flow tests. But where we're going to is very, very quiet. Um, it's Agaka, um, just at the very top of uh, Paphos. I wouldn't say it's a big touristy area. Um, so that it's me and my husband like it. We like to walk. We like to go out in the car now and again and sightsee. So it's just a rest and recuperation, and for me, it's a crafting holiday. So my crafty goods are, will be packed before my clothes. <laughs> um, I don't think my husband's very pleased about that. And I will um, video my journey as I go. So this is my, my travel um, design kit. So basically, it's a, a plane. En route, start your journey. Obviously, because I'm going to Cyprus, I have done it sort of like kind of Greek. Um, I've tried to cover most holiday destinations. Um, there's that one there, Cyprus, Aphrodite, because the Aphrodite baths are in Paphos. Um, and it's, it, it is a beautiful place. Um, there are some shots of of uh, Tomb of the Kings, some of the um, great mosaics that you can go and visit. Um, a map, um, looking out of a an arch, and I've kind of changed the the dynamics a little bit. So we've got a a, a city a skyline for those that like the you know the city um. Hotels. There is some arches from um, a photograph that I've taken inside a, a church. There we have some postcards. Uh, a girl flagging down a taxi. She's going on her holidays. Um, I've incorporated a little bit of um, USA here with the Statue of Liberty. Um, I think that is the New York skyline. I might be wrong. It might be Atlanta or Boston. And we've got the the flag. And I've tried to jazz it up a little bit and do slightly the more Caribbean um, looks. Um, there we have the sort of like, uh, that could be anything. It could be, you know, Italian gardens, Spain, Madeira. A lot of the European countries have some beautiful gardens. Obviously, I've put some palm trees. Then I've tried to go with a, a slightly Egyptian um, look. Just the um, teal and the, the sand colours. Um, again, the Egyptian look, although that looks more like um, Rainbow Row from Charleston, uh, South Carolina, that I visited last year. Plain one. Uh, it's always nice to get some plain papers. And there is some ephemera papers, so there's pockets. Now, my travel journal, I will do um, a travel notebook style. I like It's easy to put in my handbag, um, so... These are a bit narrow. There's tags, um, again from the the USA style, some little bits that you can put in, um, the tropical Caribbean. It could even be Spain, Mallorca, um, the Canary Islands. Um, but there's labels, there's tabs, there's circle tags, and again some. Sandy ones for those that like the sand, the sea and the, the, the sun. Uh, again, a pocket, tags, labels and tabs. Um, I mean, I will make, oops, sorry, I will make a travel journal 
before I go. And just some of the, the journals that I have made. Um, this was made with a, there's nothing in it. This was, uh, me and my mum went to um, New England in the fall. And I just still haven't put all the the photographs and everything in it. And this was made with a, a Tonic Studio um, die kit. You don't have to. I've not done it for everyone. Um, it's just I like that. I liked all the lace. Um, and obviously it's got the fall leaves. I also did a jazzy one. Me and my sister um, did a, a trip to America in 2017. Um, and we visited Montgomery. Um, a beautiful place. Um where Martin Luther King came from and did his first um, talk to the the people. As also, one of the reasons I went was New Orleans and Nashville. So there's like the photographs, me and my sister there, with the Hank Marvin statue. There's lots of, um, that's the memorial um, place um, for the, the civil rights, uh, all the people that died during the civil rights. Um, that's the King Memorial Baptist Church in Montgomery. And I still have bits and pieces to put on um, writing. Then we went on to New Orleans. Um, and obviously this is it's more tags. Um, I don't want to bore you with all the, the photographs of me and my sister. We went on a a riverboat ride and had a meal, did all the honky tonk of, of New Orleans, um, just tags, you know, that I can write on. Then from there, we went to um, Memphis, and that's me and my sister in Gladys's diner. Um, well, because we obviously we stayed at the Gracelands Hotel, but you can't go to Memphis and not visit. Um, the, you know, Graceland's. My sister's an avid Elvis fan. I wasn't until I went, and it's, uh, yeah, I like Elvis, I like these films and his music, but I wasn't a great big, huge um, fan. But they're just a sort of like, you know, um, an accordion map that I can open the map, and that was Memphis. Um, you just play about uh, coupons. We got some coupons. <laughs> And America's big for coupons, so I thought I had to incorporate them into my, my journal. Um, then after that, we went on to, to Nashville, uh, I think. Yep. So we're, you know, the in Nashville all along the street, um, the, there's guitars and everything. No, it isn't. This is still Memphis. Sorry. Um, Memphis it's all the guitars Nashville it's the boots the cowboy boots so we're still in in Nashville that's me and my sister next to one of the guitars so you can see you know how big they are um, that's Elvis Elvis's grave obviously my sister wouldn't have forgiven me if I hadn't let her go and see that so then we went to Nashville and again all I've done is I've put these on tags um the jungle, oh, that's still, um, that's uh, Nashville, um, Tateret. No, it isn't. Sorry, we're still with this. We're still on Memphis, so this is still this side. So this is Nashville, the cowboy rope, the the music. Um, it's that long since I've looked at it. Uh, boot country. I did get a pair of cowboy boots while I was there. Um, they have big offers, um, you know, things like that. Um, street maps, again, in, in journals like accordion books. Um, we, we visited a lot of places. We went to where um, Tina Turner went to school. We went to see the Casey Jones. Um, you know, visited most of, of South... Um, America, Jackson, Mississippi, um, Georgia, all these. And this is just some of the ephemera uh, boarding ticket and everything because we flew from Edinburgh to um, London. 
and then London out to America. So that was that one. And then lately I've just been doing my Midori style notebook journals. That I've still got loads um to fill out. So um last year we did a trip to America, me and my husband. Um, so we went to Charleston, um, South Carolina, and we visit, we stayed in Kiowa Island and we've stayed in Savannah. So this was me, um, just my preparation notes for going on holiday. You know, what I need, um, toiletries, documents, everything. I think I even had a shopping list, list, uh, list for the, the craft shops. So it's not an awful lot in that one. Some bits and pieces that I kept from the, the plane. Um, bits of um, stickers and things. Um, this is the actual one I did. So, you know, it was the 16th of, of January. Uh, a photograph. I have one of the, the little sprocket things so I can print out photographs while I'm there. Again, things to do. So it's like makeup, body cream. <laughs> hairdresser things to organize nails um waxing <laughs> um so one of the things and i had before i went I, I did look on on the internet to see some of the things i wanted to visit so one of the things was rainbow row in charleston and it's a beautiful street and all the houses are all different colors this is a, a, a pencil drawing um and color that i did um, my interpretation of it so we we did that another thing that i wanted to do was um taste beignets it was one of the things that we missed um tasting in new orleans because when you go on when you go to america it's it, it's an eating holiday um if you love food then america you know um is is the place so these are just some of the photographs we went on a carriage ride um i mean it's not all um down south a lot of frogs um so that's me with with the frog um yeah we we tasted beignets at um eli's table um we went for a spa we even went to the pictures which was quite cool because it, in the cinemas there it's all lazy boy um seats so you don't have to keep getting up you know once you're seated then there's plenty of room for people to pass um we went into the tattooed moose uh one of the little pubs just wanted to do what what the local my husband is actually american um he's although he's lived in in britain for 40 odd years so i wanted to to live like the americans do on holiday and not as a tourist um we went to kiowa, kiowa island um we went to the sanctuary we had a lovely meal one night um, we went to the golf club um, to see the sunset and it's um, the big uh, golf tournaments are, are played there. I can't remember which one. So if I said, I, I, you know, I could be lying. Um, this was a, oh, I love, uh, it was just a dip. It was a blue crab dip in sourdough and nachos. Um, and we it was at Fiddler's Bar. We went back for another one the next night. <laughs> Um, this was uh, one of the first synagogues that was built by a non-Jew. Um, the um, and it's got three sp <laughs> three spires. Um, we tried to get inside, but it was closed because I would have loved to have seen inside. Um, we also when we went to um Savannah, we visited um Chippewa Square. Now that was um used in forest gump so where i'm sat there just behind there was the bench that forest gump sat on um at the beginning and the end of the 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 film um obviously they've moved the bench because um the the tour guide was telling us it was it uh, kept getting stolen um and moved so yeah we did do a uh, we did a horse and carriage um sort of like tour guide there's lots of history in in savannah and all these places um so this was day 12 we were packing up so it was like a 
pancake breakfast um, and bacon um, and then my flight back uh, so we we flew home and it it was brilliant um, and well obviously we are going back out to America another one that I did was I went on holiday with a friend um, we went to Tunisia and again it was just I had stamps and it was just stamps I just made myself a, a notebook stamped it um took loads of photographs although i've not got photographs in here and it was just a girl's holiday it was a bit silly and um we just totally enjoyed it you know just sat by the pool we did a a, a, a three-day tour of the sahara desert so that was some sand from the sahara desert they said we were allowed to take some um we visited el gem um, while we were on the, and the, the Sahara Desert visit was sat on camels uh, for most of the day, and which I thought would be very uncomfortable, but it was it was okay. I quite enjoyed it. Um, you know, we visited some places where the the people used to live in the ground, and this this is my interpretation, my my drawing. So that is actually a hole and. They lived underground. We actually went down, and they're quite cool. They have like they have wind tunnels and things. It you know it's quite amazing, um. But they were all empty, and again, just talking about the traditional Tunisian, um, food, um. You're not allowed to, you. You're not allowed to bring money out of the country, although they do allow you to bring some. It's just that you can't get Tunisian the di dinner. You can't get it before you go. You take English money and you get it there or Scottish money. Um, so that's a five dinner note and it's worth about £1.50. So obviously when you're in Tunisia, um, you get all these notes and you think you're rich. Um, but I mean, it, it, it was an experience. Again, I've just made pockets um, out of... Um, oh laminated sheets um and tied them together i always take you know take some bits of ephemera and things like that but um as i'm getting more into the journaling uh i'll do things a little bit different um cyprus we were there last year and i haven't done anything and i hadn't i'd forgotten to take my craft stuff so what i did was i bought a notebook at the airport and that's just as it was the thing is we, we actually got stuck out in cyprus we went for a fortnight we were in um invited to a family wedding um and due to covid um we went through lockdown um and stayed out so we're going to visit the same place again that was my walking obviously me and my husband both love walking so you know try and do ten thousand steps a day and then we usually stuff up of uh, coffee and scones and things so I, I didn't get any photographs or anything in that um i've got plenty of photographs and this is just some of the ephemera uh, you know i collected it was tickets to the mosaic tomb of the kings um the some of the oh, we visited the sultan's place we visited some monasteries um, although we were staying in Agaka, the wedding was in Nicosia, so we went to see um, the old town that, that has the Turkish border in the middle. Um, obviously, we went up to the Trudos Mountains. We went to see the Aphrodite Baths and that. So I will use some of this on my journaling that I'm going to do in Cyprus. So... Thank you very much. And as I say, I am going to video this. I do have some more kits that I will put separate videos for. But if you want to, you know, stay, please subscribe and um, give me a comment. Um, I would be really, really grateful to hear, hear from you all. So thank you very much. Thanks.